Так, що у нас? Ага, це трансляцію почали. Почали трансляцію. Наталя Валерівна, як ви спали? А, не спала, не спала. Ага. Що, шахіди заважали чи хвилювалася? Хвилювалася більше, так. Добре. Бачите, пані Інна, ви не запитуєте як жінка. Чоловік би по-іншому запитав. Чому а жінка вночі не спала? А, а, -а, -а. Ні, я просто, ні, я знаю, наприклад, що у Наталі Валерівни чоловік служить, тому у мене такі питання до неї не виникають. Знаєте, як у нас кажуть, хто зіває днем, тот не зіває ночью. А от, ну от. Шановні колеги, дозволите починати? Дев'ята година. Окей. Доброго ранку, шановні колеги, шановні присутні. Доброго ранку, шановні пане аспіранти. Сьогодні 21 квітня 2023 року, дев'ята година. І дозвольте мені, як голові, почати наше засідання. Відповідно до рішення вченої ради Сумського національного аграрного університету, на кліптом ректора номер 2, від 20 лютого 2023 року у Сумському національному аграрному університеті утворена спеціалізовану вчену раду для прийняття до розгляду та проведення разового захисту дисертації ХЕДЗЕТАО на тему «Управління соціально-економічним розвитком території провінції Хінань». Англійським варіантом було затверджено «Management of Socioeconomic Development Territories in Hinan Provinces». На здобуття наукового ступеня доктора філософії в галузі знань 07 управління та адміністрування за спеціальністю 073 менеджмент. Затверджений склад ради. Головуючий на засіданні Соханіна Віталіївна, доктор економічних наук, професор, професор кафедри менеджменту імені Любові Івановни Михайлової Сумської національної аграрної університету. Рецензенти. Калачевська Лариса Івановна, доктор економічних наук, професор, професор кафедри публічного управління та адміністрування Сумський національний аграрний університет. Вітаю, Лариса Івановна. Харченко Тетяна Олександрівна, кандидат економічних наук, доцент, доцент кафедри публічного управління та адміністрування Сумський національний аграрний університет. Доброго ранку. 
Оппоненти. Тимоненко Тетяна Володимирівна, доктор економічних наук, доцент, доцент кафедри маркетингу Сумський державний університет. Доброго ранку, Тетяна Володимирівна. Тимоненко Тетяна Леонардович, доктор економічних наук, професор, професор кафедри менеджменту публічного управління та персоналу Західноукраїнський національний університет. Доброго ранку. Доброго ранку. Посади членів спеціалізованої вченої ради вказані надати захисту дисертаційної роботи. Шановні члени ради, я вас прошу зареєструватися в реєстраційній картці. Так? Так. І аспірантура мені підказує, що на підставі реєстраційної картки присутні всі п'ять членів спеціалізованої вченої ради з п'яти затверджених наказом ректора номер 77К від 20.02.2023 року. Тобто необхідний кворум для засідання в нас є. Ми маємо всі офіційні підстави для того, щоб розпочати наше засідання. Засідання спеціалізованої вченої ради оголошую відкритим. Сьогодні на порядку денному. Захист дисертації на здобуття ступеня доктора філософії, аспіранта кафедри менеджменту імені професора Михайлової Сумського національного аграрного університету Хедзетаго на тему «Управління соціально-економічним розвитком території провінції Хинань». В англійському варіанті це звучить «Management of Socio-Economic Development Territories in Henan Provinces» за спеціальністю 073 Management. Роботу виконано в Сумському національному аграрному університеті. Науковий керівник, доктор економічних наук, професор, професор кафедри менеджменту імені професора Любої Івановни Михайлової, стоянець Наталя Валерійовна. До спеціалізованої ради надійшли такі документи. Заява щодо проведення атестації здобувача. Копія першої сторінки паспорта громадянина Китайської Народної Республіки, копія диплома магістра, витяг з наказу про зарахування до аспірантури за свідчений установленому порядку, академічна довідка про виконання відповідної освітньо-наукової програми, висновок наукового керівника, висновок про наукову новизну, теоретичне та практичне значення результатів дисертації, дисертація в друкованому та електронному примірниках, Відбитки копій наукових публікацій, зарахованих за темою дисертації, засвідчені у встановленому порядку. Всі документи відповідають встановленим вимогам, і дисертація до захисту подається вперше. Хто за запропонований порядок денний, прошу проголосувати. Так, всі члени ради за, проти. Не зрозуміла, хтось був проти? Ні? Ні, всі члени, всі члени засоді, проти, проти немає нікого, утримався, також немає нікого. Пропозиція приймається і наступним етапом дозвольте мені зачитати біографічні дані аспіранта. Хедзе Тао, 1984 року народження, громадянин Китайської Народної Республіки, освіта вища. У 2013 році закінчив Хінанський науково-технологічний університет міста Сянтань, Провінція Хінань, Китайська Народна Республіка, за спеціальністю інженер-геотехнік. У 2018 році вступив до аспірантури Сумського національного аграрного університету Міністерства освіти і науки України місто Суми за спеціальністю 073 менеджмент. Дисертацію виконано у Сумському національному аграрному університеті Міністерства освіти і науки України місто Суми. Тема дисертації затверджена на засіданні вченої ради Сумського національного аграрного університету протокол номер 7 від 26 грудня 2018 року зі змінами від 26 червня 2022 року протокол номер 9. Хедзетау повністю виконав індивідуальний навчальний план відповідно до освітньо-наукової програми аспірантури обсягом 57 кредитів, що повністю відповідає порядку підготовки здобувачів вищої освіти доктора філософії в закладах вищої освіти та наукових установах. 15 червня 2022 року відбулася публічна презентація дисертаційного дослідження на кафедрі менеджменту імені професора Михайлової за спеціальністю 073 менеджмент, де дисертацію було рекомендовано до розгляду та захисту у разовій спеціалізованій вченій раді. Основні положення та отримані наукові результати дисертаційної роботи висвітлено у 14 наукових працях, з них 5 наукових праць у фахових наукових виданнях України, 3 наукові праці в наукових виданнях, включених до науково-метричних баз даних Скопус та Web of Science, 6 наукових праць опубліковані в інших виданнях. Наукові публікації відповідають вимогам пунктів 8-9 порядку присудження ступеня доктора філософії та скасування рішення разової спеціалізованої вченої ради закладу вищої освіти наукової установи про присудження ступеня доктора філософії. 
затверджено порядок постановою Кабінету міністрів України від 12 січня 22 року номер 44. Дисертація також відповідає наказу МОН України номер 40 від 12 січня 2017 року про затвердження вимог до оформлення дисертації та порядку присудження ступеня доктора філософії та скасування рішення разової спеціалізованої вченої ради заклади вищої освіти наукової установи про присудження ступеня доктора філософії. Чи є у членів спеціалізованої вченої ради питання? Дякую, немає. Попередньою здобувачем було погоджено, що захист дисертації буде проводитись англійською мовою. Так, ніхто не буде заперечувати? Я думаю, ніхто. Тому для викладу основних результатів дослідження слово надаю аспіранту Хедзетау. Good morning. So we start your uh, public presentation of scientific research of your PhD thesis. You will have 20 minutes for presenting. And now please share your screen for all of us. And we are waiting for your report. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Okay, do you hear me, professors? Okay, good morning, professors. I'm PhD student who the top. Uh, my supervisor in Ukraine is the professor Natalia Stavnitz. During the period of study at uh, SNOP, I finished all the work planned in my curriculum and made the report provided by the postgraduate department. And now, let me introduce my work. The title of my dissertation is Management of Social Economic Development Territories in Henan Province. Uh, the purpose is to develop scientific principles and uh, improve practical recommendations to support the effic efficient management of rural territories sustainable development. Research object, the management of social economic development process in Henan province. Uh, research subject, the theoretical and the methodological approaches, scientific and applied aspects of management of social economic development in Henan province under the national strategy of rural revitalization. Next, let me introduce the research task and the content. On the left side is the research task. Tasks, it uh, includes three, nine tasks. On the right side uh, um, is the content of the dissertation. There are three chapters in my dissertation, and each chapter includes three parts. Uh, this slide shows the work of how to evaluate uh, rural development capacity by indicator system, mainly including the novelty of methodology, the presentation, and the uh, analysis of uh, the result. Uh, this slide shows the suggestion on how to improve rural governance capacity and uh, promote uh, a sustainable development of rural economy and society. Uh, next, let me introduce the background. This is the development of economy and the urbanization in China, the problems of uh, population exodus, village depression, and the insufficient supply of public goods in rural areas of China have become challenges to sustainable development, social stability, and food security. Henan is one of the main grain producing areas in China. And the challenges it faces are even more obvious. In response to the, these challenges, the government abolished the agricultural tax, reformed the land system, and registered the resident system. At the same time, it uh, input a lot of resource in the rural area, but uh, it didn't uh, produce expect the result. Therefore, the government and uh, academia began to pay attention to the rural governance capacity, uh, which is considered as one of the important factors affecting the realization of governance objectives. 
It can be seen from uh, uh, the picture. The grassroots uh, government and the village uh, corridors connect the government and the village under the influence of uh, administrative pressure and power. Some of the subjects gradually produce a problem such as uh, bureaucracy, uh, familiarism, and uh, corruption, which endanger the credibility of the government and the development of the countryside. So it is necessary for multi subject to participate in the social economic development of the countryside and solve the problem faced by the countryside in the current. Uh, this part shows the source of evaluation indicators and the calculation models selected in my dissertation. The indicators uh, come from a theoretical basis selected in this dissertation, the current notes and the research result in literatures. We believe uh, such uh, a composition is more, more in line with the political needs. This finger shows the uh, characteristic of the calculation process and uh, the model. Uh, the characteristic of uh, entropy with the top model is uh, determine the interference of uh, subjective factors. The feature of uh, top model is also have no strict uh, restrictions on the samples and it can make full use of the original data. Both of them have a good stability because uh, the outcome of the calculation are between zero to one. So the top uh, model is selected for regression analysis. It is applicable to the tail stopping regression analysis. Uh, next, uh, work, uh, they are need a uh, uh, foundation for analysis of the data correctly. This table shows the composition of the index system and uh, the value rule of each indica indicators. It mainly considers rural infrastructure and uh, public service, village connective income, construction expenditure, uh, villages exercise of political power and uh, claim cohesion. The basic situation of rural enterprise. Next, we need to connect data. This finger shows the source uh, area of data. The data come from 300 uh, villages uh, in the orange area. Uh, we issued 300 uh, set of questionnaire, got back uh, 300 sets, but uh, 206 sets uh, of valid. Next, let me introduce the scientific novelty of the obtained result. Uh, because this scale is not a standard one, we ensure the reliability through some strict management measure. Uh, the KMO value is uh, greater than 0 0.7, according to the experience of uh, all the researchers. We believe that data is uh, reliable and valid. Uh, this table shows us two types of villages. The first type is far away from the city, and the second type is around the within the city. They all show the source uh, support and the villagers' participatory ability on the main factors of rural social economic development, which is in line with common sense. But the difference is the enterprise participation is more important for the first type of village. And the public service capacity is more important for the second type of village. The focus of this paper is the first type of village. It means classification management uh, is necessary. This slide shows the characteristic of two types of village in terms of social economic development capacity clearly. The result shows that uh, all of the scores are less than 0 0.5, uh, indicating that the overall governance capacity needs to improve. Urbanization has an important uh, impact on the economic and social development of its, its surrounding countryside. So reducing the urban-rural duality difference will be one of the important issues for social economic development of Henan province. Here are the factors uh, that are affecting the management uh, ability of rural social economic development under the method of regression by step regression and forced regression. Some 
Forget about the have significant impact. And uh, this article believes that uh, on the both method, uh, the factor with the significant impact at the same time or more persuasive. Next diagram shows the result of the analyze more clearly. Well, this table shows the uh, uh, structure whole network scale and uh, increased power control have a significant uh, impact on the management uh, ability of rural social economic development. It meets expectations. It also shows that the core concept of traditional culture in rural areas are disappearing. And then now, all analysis have uh, not, not considered the development process of rural areas. Next, uh, the case study we will show is development process. Uh, this case study shows the process of managing the social economic development of village on the timeline. It shows excellent uh, management capacity uh, in utilizing village resources and uh, national systems, achieving sustainable development of rural economy and social. In fact, at the beginning, uh, the social economic uh, conditions of all villages were almost uh, similar. But uh, with the advancement of time and uh, institutional changes, the difference uh, in social economic development between them become increasingly significant. Regional manager is also an important factor in rural development. It's a, a complex uh, process. This picture shows the theoretical suggestion for enhancing rural social economic development. The left side shows the internal manager management and the operation status of the village. And the right side shows the system and policies and development planning that have external impact on the rural development. Next, we apply it to Henan province. This picture shows uh, how Henan should uh, improve the management of rural social economic development. The difference from the previous uh, finger is that it emphasized to formulate a development planning with the county at first. Then uh, through the planning uh, to achieve population aggregation and accelerate the nature process of population aggregation. Uh, there will be two types of village. One is the village with aggregation population, but uh, the social uh, relationship will be reconstructed. One is uh, the village with scattered uh, population, but uh, the potential for land resource uh, accumulation, the essence of both of them is a scale norm. According to the two types uh, of village and the existing system and the pro 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 policies, uh, this paper put forward a suggestion to uh, strengthen the development capacity of village. For population gathering village, our suggestion are to strengthen the competence of uh, com community cultures and uh, the construction of grassroots organization. Industrial development planning based on village resource endowment, human resource development, and community agricultural reconstruction. Uh, for villages with a scattered population, our suggestion are to in innovate and inherit uh, traditional culture, promote land transfer, increase uh, agricultural subsidies, uh, develop human resource, and uh, support the development. Uh, uh, planting and the food uh, processing industry finally realize the transformation from scale development to uh, quality development. The conclusion uh, includes three parts. Uh, first is uh, urbanization has an important impact on the improvement of rural governance capacity. The uh, 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 decline and the damage of uh, some rural areas will be inevitable in Henan province. It is uh, necessary to accelerate population transfer through county development planning. 
um, for the village with the development uh, potential suggestion based on structure strengthening and the structure reconstruction are uh, expected to enhance its development capacity. For village without uh, development potential, structure, uh, structure reconstruction is more helpful to maintain and uh, improve its development level. A third is uh, a development planning uh, based on the scale of uh, the county is uh, for to uh, promoting the overall finance uh, development uh, development in Henan province. Uh, the last uh, two slides is my publication. Uh, during the four years uh, I started in SNOB, I published uh, one uh, of, uh, web of science, two scopus, uh, five uh, articles and five conference, one monograph. Uh, I have spoken out. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, the report is complete, and I would like to invite the members of our scientific council for taking questions to our PhD student. And uh, who want to be the first with the questions? Uh, Professor Kalachevska, you are welcome. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you, dear colleagues. Uh, dear Hedzetau, uh, my first question is, what indicators of socioeconomic development did you use in your work? Thank you. Uh, thank you for your uh, question, Professor. Uh, it includes uh, economic indicators such as uh, uh, village collective income, expenditure of construction uh, project and uh, acquired uh, donations, uh, indicators of uh, um, public service supply, in, which include uh, living infrastructure, uh, infrastructure of uh, agricultural production and other uh, service supply. Uh, indicators of uh, villages uh, ability to participation and uh, the indicator of uh, uh, enterprise uh, ability to participation uh, for more detailed uh, indicators uh, it uh, is shown in page 30 uh, 73 um, of my dissertation thank you thank you very much and i have the second question uh, to you, have you used foreign experience in the management of socioeconomic development? If so, which countries? Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for your question, Professor. Uh, yes, uh, it uh, references the experience of agricultural enterprise and uh, social capital in German, British, uh, Japan, and uh, uh, the USA. On one hand, there are rural areas that have strong agricultural associations and highly machinized agriculture. Agriculture. At the same time, uh, they developed rural to uh, tourism and uh, other uh, industries. On the other hand, the government has established a sound uh, institutional systems to promote uh, agricultural development. Uh, certainly. Um, they have a friendly financial service to support agricultural and rural development. This is parents are worth it to study for Henan province. Thank you. Thank you. I am satisfied with the answer. Thank you. Thank you. The next question, please. Who want to be? May I? Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, of course. Excuse me. Okay, for... I would like to ask you about uh, the. Uh, I would like to ask you about your scientific research. Uh, first question is: uh, Tell us more detail about your model of social economic development of the province. Um, uh, thank you for your question, Professor. Uh, the entropy with uh, topsis model is a comprehensive. Uh, uh, evaluation model. Uh, on one hand, it had a good uh, computational stability. Uh, on the other hand, uh, it is suitable for the calculation of multi-indicator evaluation system. We use this model to uh, uh, calculate the data and uh, then evaluate the level of uh, economic and social development. Uh, thank you. 
Thank you for your answer. I satisfied with the answer. Also, I would like uh, to ask you, uh, would you please briefly describe your main research tasks? Uh, uh, thank you for your question, Professor. Uh, first, uh, it is necessary to summarize and analyze the current situation of rural social development in Henan and the uh, research progress in this field. In order to identify the current uh, uh, problem from a theoretical perspective, secondly, it's uh, established the governance capacity uh, evaluate, governance capacity evaluation in that system and select suitable uh, tools for evaluation and calculation. Uh, thirdly, it uh, evaluated the economic and social development capacity of rural areas in Henan and find out the factors that uh, affect uh, this capacity. Finally, uh, it put, uh, put forward the alternative suggestion for improving the capacity. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm satisfied with your answer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The next question, please. Who want to be the next? Yes, Professor, Man Professor Manastirsky. Uh, thank you, Gia uh, Zentau. My first question, uh, tell us about the current state of management of socioeconomic development in Henan province. Uh, thank you for your question, Professor. Mm, in summary, it is uh, difficult to effectively organize uh, um, villages to deal with uh, public affairs. Uh, the grassroots manager uh, tend to become bureaucratic in some areas. Uh, rural areas face uh, population exodus, uh, brain drain, insufficient supply of public uh, facilities and public service. Um, Azul, uh, Azul's uh, state has uh, invested a lot of resources in the countryside, but it has not produced the expected result. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And second question, uh, why did you choose Henan province as a research object and that it is particularly in China? Uh, thank you for your question, Professor. Uh, Henan is an agricultural province with a large population. Um, in the process of urbanization in China, it faces more severe the population exodus, uh, abundant uh, farm land, and uh, insufficient development momentum. Uh, at the same time, Henan is trying to solve the, the problem. Uh, trying to solve the problems, but uh, uh, it's not a uh, uh, it, it, it's not a uh, it's not a uh, uh, it's not a producer is expected a result. So uh, thank you. I am satisfied. Mm -hmm. The ne the next question, okay. Professor okay. Professor Kalinka. No, yes, uh, thank you, uh, dear, uh, our research today. And uh, we, I have also two questions for you. Continue to the previous question. My first question is, uh, did you make estimation, empirical estimation of uh, management of socioeconomic development of your Henan provinces? Um, thank you for your question, Professor. Uh, yes, uh, I, we use the indicator system and uh, uh, entropy topsis model to evaluate the management of uh, social economic development in Henan. The regression analysis uh, shows that uh, structure as a whole, network scale, and uh, in, uh, increased uh, power control have significant impact on the management of social economic development. It also demonstrates uh, that the village's uh, identification uh, with the core conception of traditional culture is disappearing, uh, which means that the management cost of rural society may be increased. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you for your answer. And the next question is continue of my previous question and considering your results, what's your suggestion for improving the management of socioeconomic development of Henan provinces? Thank you for your question, Professor. Mm, the suggestion include uh, three, uh, three aspects. Uh, first, in a way, uh, we need to formulate a uh, county level development planning at the pre provincial level. Uh, then, uh, strengthening the existent, uh, existing social structure, including political power, uh, economic uh, resources, uh, social resources, and the cultural resources. Reconstructing the social structure, including uh, institutional supply and uh, social network uh, resources. A village should uh, be classified into uh, different types. Each type of village uh, should emphasize its own capacity and uh, all subjects need to have enough uh, patient. We can't uh, change the policy frequently. Thank you. Thank you for your answer, Felicity Said. Uh, thank you. And let me please also take you some questions. The first is, what is the great difficulty of your encounter in the process of your research? Uh, thank you for your question, Professor. Uh, one, uh, one difficulty is uh, the acquisition of the, uh, the data. Another one is uh, my cognitive mistake at the beginning. Although some villages are rich and some villages are poor, but I think uh, the overall characteristic should be the same. However, uh, the outcome shows there is a problem. This mistake uh, troubled me for a long time. Uh, I tried various uh, methods, but uh, they all failed. Uh, until one day, I read. Uh, uh, until one day, I find an article in the. Uh, field of geography, uh, economic geography. I realize uh, that I realize that uh, maybe I should separate the villages far away from the city, from the city, uh, from the village, and uh, in the neighboring city. Then it works. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the second question, please. How do you think? What are the shortcomings of your research? Uh, uh, thank you for your question, Professor. Uh, uh, first, uh, it is a lack uh, of uh, information on the overall sampling distribution of Henan province. Uh, so the sampling method in this uh, uh, dissertation adopts non-probabilistic uh, convenience sampling. Instead of more systematic uh, probability stratified sampling, as a result, uh, the research of this article can't uh, determine the uh, sampling error, and uh, it uh, can't uh, infer the overall stand, uh, situation for the, from the quantity. Uh, secondly, the cross-sectional uh, cross information, information of the index system and the data reflects in this paper does not uh, take into consideration the continuity of time. Uh, therefore, it uh, reflects the uh, static uh, status of governance capacity. So it is difficult to show the true uh, cause of uh, high or no governance capacity. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for your questions, for, for your answers, sorry. And now, heads it out, you have some minutes for us because I have to read the uh, documents about the scientific novelties, theoretical and practical significance of your uh, result. Шановні члени Ради, маю оголосити висновок про наукову новизну, теоретичне та практичне значення результатів дисертаційної роботи аспіранта. Документ є в матеріалах справи, тому весь його я зачитувати не буду. Скажу лише основні моменти, що була відзначена актуальність дисертаційної роботи, наукова новизна, яка не викликає сумнівів і повністю корелюється з завданнями та висновками до дисертаційної роботи. Роботи, перевірка на плагіат програми «Острайк плагіарізм» показала, що немає у нас перевищень допустимих меж, також вказані наукові публікації, дисертація виконана у відповідності до 
всіх встановлених вимог, тому зачитаю лише загальні висновки, що під час виконання дисертаційної роботи та навчання в аспірантурі Сумського національного аграрного університету аспірант проявив високий рівень наукової підготовки, теоретичних знань та практичних навичок зі спеціальності 073 менеджмент, вміння розв'язувати складні наукові задачі, які були поставлені на початку дослідження. Відзначено, що Head ZTAO володіє сучасними методами дослідження, пакетами прикладних програм, говорить двома мовами, це позитивно, і тому характеризується як працездатна, наполеглива та інноваційна людина. Висновком зауважую, що дисертаційна робота Хедзетао на тему управління соціально-економічним розвитком території провінції Хінань в англійському варіанті Management of Social Economic Development Territories in Hinan Province написана англійською мовою та оформлена відповідно до діючих положень, норм, правил, встановлених Міністерством освіти і науки України. Подана до захисту соціалізовану вчену раду на здобуття наукового ступеня доктора філософії з галузі знань 0 сім управління та адміністрування за спеціальністю 073 менеджмент за своєю актуальністю науково-теоретичним рівнем основними результатами обґрунтованості основними положеннями результатами опублікованими у фахових виданнях новизною постановки та практичним значенням відповідає вимогам наказу МОН України номер 40 від 12 січня 2017 року про затвердження вимог до оформлення дисертації та постанові Кабінету міністрів України від 12 січня 2022 року Номер 44 про затвердження порядку присудження стопеня доктора філософії та скасування рішення разової спеціалізованої вченої ради закладу вищої освіти наукової установи про присудження ступеня доктора філософії зі змінами, внесеними згідно з постановою Кабінету міністрів номер 341 від 21 березня 2022 року. Тому я вважаю, що можемо переходити до обговорення дисертаційної роботи, і я маю честь запросити першим рецензента Калачевську Ларису Іванівну. So, heads it out, we are beginning to discuss about your dissertation, and the first hour Uh, the, 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 the first hour speaker is your reviewer. It's Professor Kalachevska. Uh, so let, let, let please start. Thank you very much. Пані Інно, скажіть, будь ласка, правильно я розумію, зараз я оголошую результати саме свого рецензування. Так, так. Ви можете, ви можете, ви можете повністю не зачитувати, бо ми, 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 ми маємо ваш документ підписаний і затверджений в матеріалах справи. Ви говорите тільки основні моменти і зупиняєтесь на дискусійних питаннях, на які дисертант має відповісти. Дякую за ваші інструкції. Окей, дія колекс. With the development of economy and urbanization in China, problems such as population urbanization, rural depression, and the lack of public goods in rural China have become problems for rural sustainable development, social stability, and food security. To address these issues, the central government abolished the agricultural tax in 2006, used various agricultural sub subsidies, invested large amount of resources in rural areas, and reformed both the land system and the household registration system. The positive effects obtained from these measures were less than expected, so the government and academic uh, circles began uh, to uh, notice that the capacity of rural management is one of the important factors that affect the realization of management goals. In 2017, the central government proposed to modernize the rural government system and governance capacity. In 2019, the central governance again published the document guiding options on strengthening the, uh, and improving rural governance. All of them emphasize the importance of the capacity of rural administration. The study of governance capacity become the main topic in solving rural problems and the um, improvement of approaches to the management of socioeconomic development of rural areas, the formation of the very model of the capacity of subjects is the dominant way 
to improving the sustainable development of rural areas, which determines the relevance of this topic. The scientific novelty of the obtained result is as follows. A system of in, um, indecisive for assigning the capacity of rural administration based on the theory of community structure and the theory of capacity is proposed. From assigning the management capacity of grassroots governments, it has been expanded to access the managerial capacity of multi-agent governance system. An assignment of rural areas was carried out with the framework of the index system. The comprehensive review of the assignment of the capacity of multi-subject management and the promotion of the economic and social development of rural areas by increasing the capacity of multi-subject management. The implementation of the concept of economic geography through the demand and supply of resources the potential of the rural administration is reflected in the control balance of supply and demand. The entropy-wide model was proposed. TOPSIS was developed as access, access the governance capacity of certain rural areas. By calculating the wide, is, it was found that economic factors have a great wide and the subjects of the dominant economic factors are local authorities. And the process of urbanization itself had a fundamental impact of the capacity of rural uh, management. The methodical approach to determine the status of economic and social development of Henan region has been improved, which in contrast to existing method, methods is based on uh, quantitative analy analysis tools and case analysis, which allows to comprehensively take into account the general and um, spe specifically of the problem, and also proves the proposal for solving the problem are more instructive and operational. The concept of increasing the capacity of rural management and ensuring sustainable and balanced development of the rural economy and uh, uh, society is proposed. Received further development on the basis of the theory of social structure of proposals for improving the possibilities of social management of the rural economy from three aspects structural strengthening, structural reconstruction, and structural space-time. In order uh, of implementation, it is proposed uh, to introduce rural planning as the country level, sorry, at the country level, uh, classify uh, rural administration and integ integrate the city in the, and the village uh, at the same time then implement recommendations for structural reconstruction, and finally implement recommendations for the structural strengthening. Characterizing the dissertation work of uh, Hetz et al. as a whole, it should be noted that it certainly has relevance, scientific and practical significance. During the review of the work, some issues of the debatable uh, nature, comments and suggestion, suggestions arose. First, in section 1.3, uh, parenthesis after the mathematical um, expression must be aligned, 1.3, page 66, 67. Alignment of number in table uh, 2.3 needs an adjustment, 2.2, uh, page 19, uh, free, uh, free. They also should add the diagram on page 130 in chapter 3. It is necessary to clearly show the main content of this part as a step-by-step -step description of the solution to the existing situation. First, strengthen the village ability uh, to resist rural uh, humiliation. Secondly, grassroots uh, governments are prohibited from using the rural areas as a problem. Third, strengthen the management of 
fight against the rural depression. Fourth, because corrupt uh, forces are closely related to economic and social interests. The use of economic means to overcome corruption is the subject of attention of scholars and government. Needs illustration. The fourth, in section 2.2, the author selected the Topsy's entropy wide model for evaluation and calculation. From the point of view of scientific rigor, uh, several models should be selected for evaluation and calcul calculation. And then the necessary analysis should be carried out to obtain uh, more objective and accurate results. And the last one, section 3.2, should add some convincing national development plans to support the author's uh, propositions. However, the indicated comments and wishes do not fund, uh, fundamentally affect the overall positive assessment of the dis uh, dissertation work are not fundamental and do not reduce its rather high overall assessment. Dissertation work of Hu Tsetao, Management of Socioeconomic Development Territories in Henan Province, which was submitted for defense to the uh, Specialized Academic Council for obtaining the degree of Doctor of, Doctor of Philosophy in the field of management, uh, 07, Management and Administration, in this specialty, uh, 073, Management, according to its relevance, scientifically theoretical level and main result of validity, the main provisions and results published in professional publications, the novelty of the statement and the practical significance meet the requirements of the order of the Ministry of Education and Culture and Culture of Ukraine number 40 of January 12, uh, 2017, and the resolution of the Cabinet of Minister of Ukraine of January 12, number 44 of uh, 2022, with changes introduced in accordance with resolution of the Cabinet of Ministers number uh, 341, dated um, uh, 21 of uh, March uh, 2022. The content of the dissertation corresponds to the passport of the speciality. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Hedzetau. Please respond comments. Okay, thank you, Professor. Um, thank you for your comments, Professor. Uh, I agree most of your views, but uh, I need to uh, explain something. Um, for the, the third question, um, first uh, step-wise uh, regression is a method of regression analysis. Uh, the significant uh, factors of we are lived and the insufficient uh, factors are removed uh, during the, uh, the calculation. Uh, second, uh, um, based on Singapore's uh, experience, uh, high salary measures uh, to maintain integrity can reduce the official corruption. So um, some Chinese scholars believe we should take uh, the same measures, uh, yes, it's necessary to uh, ensure suitable salaries and benefits for uh, rural uh, cadres, but uh, it also needs to reduce the work uh, responsibility transferred by the higher level uh, department. Uh, for your uh, for for your first question, um, from a scientific on a uh, rigorous perspective. Selecting uh, several methods uh, for evaluation and calculation uh, maybe get more objective and uh, accurate results. Uh, but the focus in the, in the dissertation is to discover whether the evaluation result of uh, all villages have a certain sta statistical pattern. Mm. So minor changes uh, in ranking will not have a significant impact on the statistical pattern. Uh, 
So we only choose uh, one stable entropy weight uh, toposis model uh, for calculating to ensure the result uh, uh, acceptable. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for your comments. I'm okay. satisfied. I, I, okay, you are, you are satisfied. So the next speaker is review of dissertation, uh, Professor Harchenko. Okay, thank you. Are you hear me well? Yes, of course. Okay. In recent years, the economic and social development in Hinyan's rural areas has reached a certain level of improvement, but it also has some problems. Some scholars have studied the socioeconomic situation in rural areas from the point of view of the land ownership system, the open rural dual structure and legal cultural network. But this does not explain the huge differences in the development of rural areas under the same institutional conditions and social environment. In the work, an attempt is made to analyze and explain this fact from the point of view of the capacity of rural administration in order to find a possible way to improve the economic and social development of rural areas. Currently, the existing research on rural governance capacity has not yet formed a system. It mainly focuses on the capacity of various governance entities, market participants, and the territories themselves. Some scholars study rural governance capacity in terms of different administrative units, including village, townships, and local districts. There is little literature on the systematic study of rural governance capacity and even less literature of the study in Hinyan province. Thus, the selection and study of the capacity of rural management in Hinyan province has important practical significance for its socioeconomic development. Therefore, the improvement of approaches to the management of socioeconomic development of rural areas, and therefore, the formation of a model of the capacity of subjects is the dominant way of improving the sustainable development of rural areas, which determine the relevance of this topic. These facts determine had set our dissertation work as relevant and timely. With the aim of improving the theoretical and the methodological foundation and developing practical recommendation for managing the socioeconomic development of rural areas. The scientific novelty of the obtained result lies in the deepening of the existing theoretical provisions and the development of scientific, scientific practical and methodical recommendation for managing the socioeconomic development of the territories of Hinyan province. The scientific results are re reliable. It can be presented as following terms of their scientific essence. A system of indexing for assessing the capacity of rural administration based on the theory of community structure and the theory of capacity is proposed. From assessing the managerial capacity of grassroots local level government, it has been expanded to assess the managerial capacity of multi-agent governance system. An assessment of rural areas was carried out within the framework of the index system. A comprehensive review of the assessment of the capacity of multi-subject management and promotion of the economic and social development of rural areas by increasing the capacity of multi-subject management, the implementation of the concept of economic geography through the demand and supply of resources. The potential of rural administration is reflected in the control balance of supply and demand. The TOPSIS entropy wage model was introduced to assess the governance capacity of the studied village. By calculating the way, it was found that the economic factors have a great weight, and the subject of the dominant economic factors are the Grootroth's government. The process of urbanization had a fundamental impact on the capacity of rural administration. Using the Tobit model for regression analysis, the results show that network structure, vulnerability, network size, and vested interest factors have significant effects on the governance capacity index, as well as factors such as network density, weak tire strengths, family control, rural cultural, and control variables have a partial effect on management. 
A systematic method of determining the status of economic and social de development of the Henian region. Unlike existing methods, this method is based on quantitative analysis tools and case analysis, which allows comprehensive consideration of the generality and specificity of the problem, and also proves that the proposal for solving the problem are more instructive and operational. For further development, the concept of increasing the capacity of rural management and ensuring sustainable and balanced development of the rural economy and society. Structural strengthening, structural reconstruction, and structural spatial temporal. This will contribute to improving the management capabilities of various managing participants, solving the task facing the rural area, and achieving the management goals set by the state. The main factors of management of the economic and social development of rural areas and the real state of rural areas are determined. As well as targeted proposal for improving the management capabilities of rural areas, which correspond to various regional features, are put forward. With the current trend of urbanization, the concentration of the population is in certain areas, and the death of some rural villages will be inevitable. Correct control of the scale of population concentration and planning of agglomeration territories is the embodiment of the state management capabilities, which will contribute to, to the improvement of the quality of economic and social development of rural areas and the achievement of state management goals. On the basis of the theory of social structure, proposals are offered for improving the possibilities of social management of the rural economy from three aspects, structural strengthening, structural reconstruction, and structural space time. In the implementation procedure, it's proposed to introduce rural planning at the country level Classify, classify rural management and together integrate the city and the countryside. Then implement recommendation for structural reconstruction and finally implement recommendation for structural strengthening. The practical significance of the obtained result less, lies in the identification and substantiation of the new theoretical and methodological principle. A new solution to a scientific problem, putting forward a complex of scientifically based provision and conclusion for proving the development strategy and practical recommendations to be used by the heads of rural social economic and administrative departments and agencies in rural areas of Henyan province. The proposed practical and methodological recommendations are implemented in the activities of Sumer National Agrarian University and Henan Scientific and Technological Institute. Employees of promotion departments use them to establish a system of communication with key stakeholders. Characterizing the dissertation work of Hitzetau as a whole, it should be noted that it certain, certainly has relevance, scientific and practical significance. During review of the work, some issues of a deb debatable nature, comments and suggestion arouse. First of all, the format of writing table 2.1 point and table 2.1.2 Point on, sorry. The format of writing table 2.1 and table 2.2 should be the same. Next, in the proposal section detailing the structure of figure 3.1, building political capacity is mainly about building organizational capacity, including disciplinary constraints, standardizing the life of grassroots party organization, optimizing election and evaluation. Its aim is ensuring the rural cuts over party agreements and prevent other forces from penetrating grassroots party organization. A logical explanation of the sketch of the salaries of interaction and the rules of subordination is necessary since the connection between them is quite close. Next one, 
in order to improve the management capacity of rural economic and social development, it would be useful to provide valuable suggestions from experts and the researchers in various fields in the proposal presented in section 3.3. Next one, the data in table 2.9 need explanation. The result of the test namely through the application of the first complex entry method is used to fully enter a set of explanatory variables into the, into the regression equation to build model one. And then the stepwise reg regression method is used to obtain model two that depends and output data must be specified. Last one, since there are some abbreviation in the text, it's useful to provide a list of symbols. However, the indicated comments and wishes don't fun fundamentally affect the overall positive assessment of the dissertation work, are not fundamental and don't reduce the rates of high overall assessment. In finally, dissertation work of Hetzetau, Management of Socioeconomic Development Territories in Hinyan Province, which was submitted for defense to the Specialized Academic Council for obtaining the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in the field of knowledge 07 Management and Administration in the specialty 073 Management according to its relevance. Scientifically, the, the theoretical level, the main results of validity, the main provision and result published in professional publication, the novelty of the statement, and the practical significance meet the installed requirements. The content of the dissertation corresponds to the passport of the speciality. Thank you for your attention. I'm finished. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Had the DAO have possibility, possibility to respond comments of your reviewer? Okay. okay. Uh, thank you for your comment, uh, Professor. I agree uh, some of uh, your views, but uh, I want to explain two questions. Uh, for your third question, some research uh, funding from uh, experts in the field of political science and uh, economic geograph have been taken into account in section 3.3. 3. Uh, for your fourth question, uh, the heterosclerotic plasticity problem, uh, we should check uh, p-value of white test and BP test. Um, then compare them to significant level, uh, alpha equal 0. 0.5. 0.5. If a p value greater than alpha, well, it uh, indicates there is no uh, heteroscopic uh, density problem. Uh, we can see uh, the p value in table 2.9, they all greater than uh, 0 0.05. Uh, so it's okay. Uh, before re regression analysis, I analyzed the, the code relation of the data. The outcome shows there is a, a no problem too. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your answer. I'm satisfied. Okay, thank you. And let me please uh, invite the first opponent of dissertation. The first will be Professor Manaspirsky. Thank you very much. Dear college, it is a great honor for me to the participate in the work on the council. I hope uh, that after the victory of Ukraine in the war, I will definitely come to the Sumer National Agrarian University, which is very dear to my heart. In accordance with the regulatory requirements, I submitted the opinion of the official opponent, let me quell on the main points of the opinion of the official opponent. Dear colleagues, to realize the modernization of the national management capacity, China should pay sufficient attention of rural areas with weak management capacity. 
Improving rural governance, capacity should not only strengthen the capacity of, of grassroots government and rural cards, but should also enhance the capacity of other governance actors. Improving the capacity of local government bodies in lose the involvement of resources and regulations. Through the study of uh, theories and methods of economic and social management of rural areas is uh, critical for improving management capacity and economic and social development of rural areas. The state invents resources in a rural society and provides the necessary public services for rural areas, combining financial resources of local self-government with central financial funds. In other words, until the state power withdraw from the rural society, the rural society did not from a proceed self-government and capacity of action. It allows the space and ability to redistribute interests, namely its lost management rights, which made it difficult to manage the rural areas of Henan province. Some scholars propose to expand its capabilities while narrowing and scope to state power so that it does not create a weak government, uh, changing the all powerful system. In other words, the key determinant uh, of good social governments is not to establish uh, a so-called paradigm of limited of servant oriented government. It lies in the power of the ability to manage. This agreements uh, determines uh, his entire dissertation work as relevant and timely with the aim uh, of improving the theoretical and methodological foundations and developing practical recommendations for managing the social economic development of rural areas. The practical uh, significance of the Obtained results lies is identification and substantiation of new theoretical and methodological principles, a new solution to a scientific problem, putting forward a complex scientifically based provisions and conclusions for proving the development strategy and practical recommendation to be used by the heads of rural socioeconomic administrative departments, the agencies, rural areas of Henan province. The result of the dissertation can be used the educational process uh, when uh, teaching the disciplines, uh, system development management, project management, at the same time, the research results can be used to the uh, conduction fundamental and apparent research in the field of uh, management of sustainable development of territories. The degree of practical implementation of the results of the dissertation work is uh, confirmed by relevant documents. The dissertation is characterized by a clear adherence to the structural and logical scheme of the results, the uh, correspondence of scientific results and uh, provisions issued for the practitioner of the scientific novelty uh, to the search goal and the specific task of the research. The dissertation student used a significant number of information sources from open uh, databases, uh, regulatory and regional literature, statistical and analytical materials. The research results and the author's recommendations have been approved during the work of international conferences 
as well as publish it in scientific publication, including publication existed by Scopus and Web of Science. The above is evidence of a, a sufficient level of validity and reliability of the results of scientific research, conclusions, and proposals. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, positively evaluating the dissertation work is should be announcing the the of uh, uh, certain uh, detailed uh, points in the work. One, figure uh, two point one needs an explanation of the graphic elements of the level of roller areas. Two. Objects uh, 2.2 should be moved uh, to point, uh, 1.3 because this is the basis of the other's methodological research. Three, there are also many documents of the economic and social development of rural areas in other uh, countries than uh, other cities, many China research documents. It would be a profit to use foreign experience referring to the uh, research literature of Ukraine, Europe of other developed uh, countries, which would provide an opportunity to uh, conduct of more uh, comprehensive and in-depth uh, study of the relevant topic. Four. The structural theory of social development is itself uh, lacks systematicity and it uh, avoids the questions of what is the sequence between the structure of the formation and the initiative of implementing. However, this research uh, likes the critical content and refinement of this theory, and it is uh, direct uh, applied to uh, build and uh, framework of in characters and propositions. Five, as for the construction of the indication system, it likes of link of analysis of the value indicators of the uh, preliminary assessment. Based of scientific accurate, the score system determined uh, all the screening is uh, more reasonable and uh, optimized. Uh, six, in the second uh, uh, chapter, the other uh, shows the problems of low trust and information uh, 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 of necessity of local uh, grass tracts governments, but does not analyze the reasons for this situation. It is uh, necessary to uh, consider this part and to make to get it the uh, proposals. However, the in indicated comments and uh, wishes do not fundamentally objective uh, overall a positive assessment of the dissertation work are uh, not fundamental and uh, do not uh, reduce its uh, rather high overall assessment. Uh, there are uh, ground to recognize the dissertation work of He Zentao as a competed quality uh, quo Felicing scientific work in which be others approach to the improvement and uh, further development of the theoretical, methodical, and uh, approach for foundation and of managing the social economic development of the territories of Henan province is expanded and system shielded. The scientific results 
uh, can uh, taint in the dissertation corresponding the speciality management for which the work is uh, subsumed for different the scientific uh, significance uh, of the results is uh, and doubted uh, uh, and sufficient to recognize the a completion of the results by uh, all quality science. Dissertation work of his entire on the topic management by uh, social economic development territories in Henan province, uh, which was a substitute uh, for reference to the specialized academic council for obtaining the degree of doctor of philosoph philosophy from the filed knowledge uh, zero 07 management and administration with a specialty 073 management in terms of its relevance, scientific and uh, theoretical level, main results of influsions, uh, main provisions and results published in professional publication, novelty setting and practical significance meets the uh, requirements of order or minister of education of Ukraine. Uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Please, our student, uh, answer the comments of your official opponents. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor. Uh, thank you for your comments. Uh, uh, I, I want to explain three, uh, uh, two questions. For your third question, uh, in, in fact, uh, uh, in the first part of, uh, of this article, it uh, refers uh, to literature from some developed countries uh, in this uh, field, mm, such as uh, the United States, uh, Germany, and Japan. They all have uh, a private ownership of land, and uh, their rural areas have a strong agricultural associations. Moreover, um, Agricultural development is highly um, machinized, which is very different. Uh, uh, different in Henan. In addition, Henan is uh, uh, has a large population, but less uh, arable land. Um, the rural branch of the CPC plays an important role in the management. Uh, the situation at present uh, is a strong agricultural association may not uh, only harmful harm to the common uh, interest of the village, but also harm the um, interest of the CPC branch. Uh, but we believe that the development uh, experience of agricultural uh, machinization and the modernization uh, on a suitable scale and uh, within a certain range is uh, worth to study uh, in Henan province. Uh, for uh, your sixth uh, question, uh, the problem of no trust uh, in local grassroots government uh, is uh, and lack uh, in transparency of information is caused by many reasons, uh, such as uh, corruption, uh, the incremental pressure on uh, uh, structure of official. Uh, formalism and uh, the difficulty in protecting the interest of the villages. This article does not uh, have a, a systematic analysis, mainly because there are many uh, political studies in this field in, in China. And so there, is, there are some scattered description uh, in the article. And the uh, development suggestion in this article also involve some aspects in this regard. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I am satisfied. Okay, thank you. And we have one more opponent. I invite to speak Professor Pimanenko. Yes, thank you. Uh, and uh, if you agreed, I uh, also will not uh, tell the whole my opinion because you everyone have online and before that you also have chance to see it and I also underlined only the key uh, point of my opinion. 
Okay, and firstly, it's sexuality of the theme uh, of PhD thesis, of course, the uh, PhD thesis and theme which uh, the, uh, our uh, young research uh, analyzed is actual, actual for uh, China, actual for Henan province, uh, such signs the ablation of the agricultural tax in 2006, the rural government has transformed from extractive to suspended regime. Fiscal revenues of the rural territory government were significantly limited. At the same time, to change this situation, the Chinese government has already begun to take uh, modernize uh, and change update uh, uh, the, the strategy of rural development, uh, which led uh, to major changes in the labor behavior of local government. The country has already invested resources uh, in the development of rural society and provides necessary public services for rural areas, combines the financial of local government with the central financial funds. The city government turned into intermediary role, sub uh, submitting application for project and financial funds uh, to the authority, continuing on the support of the territory. Thus, the state power moved away from the rural society. Uh, the rural society did not uh, appropriate self-governments and ability to act. To lost the space and ability to redistrib uh, interest uh, in lost management right, which made it difficult to manage rural areas in the Midwest. Uh, therefore, it is necessary to explore and expand opportunities while narrowing the scope of state power and creating proper social and economic management of rural areas in Henan's province. Uh, all above them uh, confirm the chosen theme is actual and uh, should be investigated um, in further. Uh, uh, also, considering the novelty of the obtained results, uh, uh, reading the PhD says in today's discussion, today answer uh, of uh, our research questions, um, we can confirm that scientific novelty of the obtained uh, uh, results of by uh, Hezetau uh, is in a high level. Besides, uh, Hezetau took part in the conference uh, where he presented uh, uh, his results. And of course, it's also confirmed the scientific level of the obtained result. Uh, also, a few points of the novelty of the uh, PhD says is first, uh, they also clarifies and expands the generation of rural government's capacity, which is the basis of empirical research uh, different from the previous study, uh, the capacity indicator system of this uh, in this study is determined based on theoretical basis laws and research results of the scholars. So it is more relevant and uh, practical uh, compared to existing research. Uh, the indicator, the second point is uh, that the indicator system of governance capacity consider not only a single uh, subject in the past, but comprehensively considered the government's capacity of multiply subject. It prompts and econo the economic and social development of rural areas by improving the capacity of multiply subject. Make the assessments of government capacity more comprehensive and accurate. Uh, also, positively should be highlighted the applying of entropy method, uh, entropy weight method. Uh, in addition, the TOPSIS techniques was applied to access the government's capacity of certain rural areas by calculating the weights. It was found that economic factors have the high weight, uh, the highest maybe weight, and the subject of the uh, dominant economic factors are local authorities, and the process of urbanization itself had a fundamental impact on the capacity of rural management. Uh, the next uh, a point of novelty is that also expands the internal logic of social structure theory, capacity theory, and government theory. The essence of social structure theory is resources and rules, while government theory emphasizes multiply subject and rule. In order to realize the governance of social affairs, the subject needs to use resources and rules, which is reflected in governance ability. 
This approach, this mixed theory makes up for the lack of social structure theory to determine which structure and which uh, initiatives uh, as they should be first. Uh, also, I should notice that practical significance of the obtained results lies in the identification and justification of new theoretical and methodological principles and new solution to a scientific problem, putting forward a complex of scientifically based provisions and conclusions for proving the development strategy and practical recomm recommendation to be used by the heads of rural economic administrative departments and agencies, rural areas of Henan uh, provision. Uh, also, the list of publication uh, uh, considered to the requirements, uh, uh, if we analyze the quality and quantity uh, numbers, it's, re it's required to the uh, main um, uh, requirements uh, for PhD uh, thesis. And um, let me please uh, underline you. Um, a few points which could be as a debate or maybe for further your direction in future your uh, research uh, activity. Uh, first point, it, uh, in my opinion of you, it would be better if uh, the author extends the explanation of elements uh, like uh, rural uh, rule value and third class index. Uh, the second uh, point which should be maybe um, should be uh, clarified in your future uh, investigations. Uh, it's uh, considering the results in the sub chapter 2.3. Uh, in my point of view, it would be better to use the more graphical objects uh, to explain, to clarify your uh, results, uh, your investigation, uh, understandable for readers. Um, uh, and uh, uh, exception your results. As a third point, the cross-sectional information of the index system and the data displayed in this paper don't take account uh, time continuity, don't consider the dynamic factors. Therefore, it reflects the uh, statistic status of management capabilities and cannot show the root cause of strong or weak development management capability. As uh, a fourth point, uh, the proposed system of indicator for assessment of public service uh, service capacity includes data which reveals the uh, psychological well-being of respondents. At the same time, these data are not objective, as they cannot fully show the true objective state and also cannot be used for comparative studies with other regions. Therefore, in future your investigation, it will be necessary to highlight only objective indicator uh, data. Regarding the proposal for struct uh, structural reconstruction, the rural uh, local secretary did uh, play a major role in uh, eradicating rural poverty, but they uh, interfered with the original structure of village governance, which was rejected by local initiative with the provinces. Therefore, it is necessary to clarify, divide the responsibility of the village secretary and the other regional territory management structure so that the recommendations are more targeted. Uh, and the uh, last point, since the organization and rural uh, cases uh, of the provinces are the center of rural management, they also propose to strengthen their organizational capacity, service capacity and leadership capacity from a political aspect. However, this can lead to increased bureaucracy and corruption and authoritarianism uh, in the management. Uh, the flip, uh, flexibility, flexibility of this proposal is uh, doubtful. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, all my suggestions and remarks um, uh, as recommendation and uh, uh, some suggestions for future uh, investigation, uh, it has uh, a recommendatory nature and don't uh, affect the overall positive assessment of uh, your dissertation uh, work. And uh, there are grounds to recognize the dissertation work of Head the Tao as a completed qualifying scientific work uh, in which the author approach to the improvement and further development of the theoretical and methodological and applied foundation of managing 
the socio-economic development of the territories of Henan's province is explained and uh, justified. The scientific results contained in dissertation correspond to the speciality 073 management for which the work is submitted for defense. The scientific significance of the results is undoubted and sufficient to recognize the completion of research by all qualifying science. PhD thesis of Heze Town on uh, the topic management of socioeconomic development territories in Henan provinces, which was submitted for events uh, for, uh, for obtaining the degree uh, of Doctor of Philosophy from the field of knowledge 07 management administration with speciality 073 management in terms of its relevance. Uh, scientific and theoretical level, main results of justification, main provisions and results published in professional publications, novelty of setting and practical significance meets the requirements of order of ministry and education and science of Ukraine. Um, on the resolution of the cabinet of ministry of Ukraine uh, and uh, uh, the uh, the procedures for awarding the degree of Doctor of Philosophy and cancellation of the dissertation of uh, the one-time specialized academic council of the institution of higher education, scientific institution on awarding the degree of Doctor of Philosophy as amended and in accordance with State Cabinet of Ministry number three, four, nine. Thank for uh, attention. I finished my opinion. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Professor. The head the towel, please answer questions or give respond questions. Okay. Uh, thank you for your comment, Professor. Uh, I want to explain three questions. Uh, for, the, uh, for your first question, uh, the, the meaning of the rule value it, uh, is how to assign value to the indicators. Um, the third class uh, index uh, means the third level uh, indicators. Um, so I think it's a problem of uh, translation. Um, for uh, your third question, in order to compensate for the lack of consideration of time continuity uh, in the cross-sectional uh, information and the data of the indicator system, it uh, it as a case study to demonstrate the formation of rural uh, development capacity through uh, uh, capacity, uh, uh, through uh, uh, its development uh, process, and this uh, process demonstrated the uh, importance of individual work ability of regional leaders. Uh, for your uh, sixth uh, question, uh, generally speaking, uh, I agree with your last uh, comment, but uh, the re reality is that as a uh, um, decision maker at the higher level, they also face a, a dilemma situation. Uh, Strengthening the organization capacity, service capacity, and the leaders, uh, leadership capacity of the grassroots uh, level um, politically may be lead to the increase of uh, uh, bureaucracy and, uh, uh, and the also uh, authoritarianism. But uh, if, they, uh, if they don't do so, uh, they will be unable to resist the plunder of the countryside by the mafia neck and uh, the capital in some, uh, in some place. Therefore, uh, this uh, proposal has its uh, necessity for existence. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your answer. It's okay. I'm agreed. Mm -hmm. uh, so the colleagues, the members of Scientific Council, uh, we have to debate and to discuss the dissertation of Hedzetau. And I emphasize that all members of Scientific Council have to take part in the debate. And in the end of each speech, you have to note if you vote 
positive or not uh, or, or no in uh, process of awarding the degree of doctor of philosophy for heads of tau шановні члени спеціалізованої ради ми маємо обговорити дисертаційну роботу і наголошую що кожен з членів ради має взяти участь в обговоренні і в кінці обов'язково зауважити чи голосувати голосуватиме ти голосувати чи будете ви голосувати вибачте да позитивно чи негативно за присудження я вже я вже клічка і Януковича згадала ну все проїхали вибачте чи будете ви голосувати позитивно чи негативно за присудження наукового ступеня доктора філософії Хедзетау за захист цієї дисертаційної роботи? Так, з кого ми можемо почати? Хто хоче бути першим? May I? Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, I would like to say a few words about reviewed work. First of all, the dissertation is a complete scientific work. The topic of reviewed scientific research is relevant and timely. timely. Among the positive achievements of the reviewed work, I would like to highlight a system of indices for assessing the capacity of rural administration. This methodical approach will allow to improve the relationship between the different level of the, region, of the regional management system. That's why I think that head tower deserves to be awarded a degree of doctor philosophy in the field of the knowledge uh, 07 management and administration. This is my opinion. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, who won? Yes, of course. Thank you, dear colleagues. Dear colleagues, uh, I would like to notice that the social economic development of the region, on the one hand, is an ob objective process that takes place under the influence of historical, geographical uh, factors, provision of the resources, demographic and other factors. On the other hand, it is subjective process, which is carried out under the influence of management measures by the regional administration and the administration of the state level. The content of the development uh, of different regions is very different. And this difference is determined not only by the initial level of development of these regions, regions, but also by the characteristics of each of them, the structure of production and specialization, geographical location, population, volume of production and role in the development of the country as a whole. In market conditions, the function of effective administrative administration is dominant and fundamental in the management of socioeconomic process. And the improvement of approaches to the management of socioeconomic development of rural areas, the formation of the model of the capacity of subjects is a priority direction for improving their sustainable development of rural areas, which confirms the relevance of the research topic. So I believe that the goal of the scientific research of our doctoral student uh, uh, the Tau has been achieved and the um, presented results have uh, scientific and practical value. Therefore, I will support the decision to award the doctoral student the scientific degree of doctor of philosophy. Thank you very much. This is my opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Professor Monasterski, you are welcome. Uh, thank you very much. Dear college, uh, for more than 20 years, I have been uh, researching the problems of managing regions and local communities. This problem is extremely complex and important. Its uh, importance is growing the condition of modern geopolitical threats. The experience of uh, the People's Republic of China is interesting in the context of manning the uh, development of regional and uh, territorial communities. Today we saw and heard this from the research and speech of the 
recipient of the scientific degree of doctor of philosophy. He appeals a complex system approach to achieving the set goal. I will defin definitely vote in favor of allowing the scientific degree of doctor of philosophy in the specialty of management. Thank you of your attention. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Professor Pimanenko, Tatiana, you're welcome. As uh, I have already told that uh, the same which uh, uh, researcher, young researcher with his supervisor analyzed and the PhD says this is actual and really need for investigation in case of China. Uh, as we know, the China economic and social development uh, has already achieved uh, the appropriate level of improvement. Uh, and uh, of course, or however, such improvement has a backside, has uh, some issues and problem. Uh, the, uh, the existing level of rural management affects the general state of the country's um, uh, development. And of course, it's uh, 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 effect on social uh, countries' development. Uh, as we know that uh, local management, territorial management, uh, close relate to the government management. Sometimes it will be as intermediary role between uh, uh, different stakeholders uh, when they make decision on countries' development in, uh, uh, for example, in finance uh, provinces' development. And uh, I wish to underline, to highlight that uh, uh, same task goals and results which obtained in dissertation and PhD says is um, uh, uh, try to solve this issue uh, with the management of social and economic development of Henan province in rural areas and uh, they received empirical justification uh, they received quality recommendation could be applied for improvement uh, management, social economic uh, development management of rural areas. And uh, of course, considering the results of PhD, considering the answers uh, for questions um, and today's presentation, the main results, uh, I will support awarding the PhD degree for who had the tower, which um, prepared uh, dissertation on sim uh, management of social economic development uh, territories in Hinans province, uh, which submitted for degree for doctor of philosophy in the field of knowledge uh, 07 management administration in specialty 073 um, management. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And let me also say some words uh, according to the dissertations. And the first, what I want to uh, say that the dissertation examines the reforms in China, considers the management of the socio-economic development of the territorial communities. On the basis on the conducted research, we will determine the directions for increasing the socio-economic development of the territorial community, taking into account the main peculiarities, resource potential, and human capital. Also has been determined that priority directions for the development of the investment att attractiveness of rural areas, practical recommendations have been developed for the improvement of the local self-government system, the implementation of the process of decentralization and safe self-organization of rural communities, and the level of influence of the state and the public of the development of rural areas. I also was determined the author's method for improving the existing mechanism for managing the socioeconomic development of rural areas in the text in the context of national economy. The work is fully considered to all official requirements according to the procedure of Doctor of Philosophy Award. And of course, I will vote positive in uh, in the awarding of uh, degree the Doctor of Philosophy for Head the Tao. Uh, who want to say something else? No, nobody, but I see, but I see our scientific supervisors uh, uh, is sitting so quietly and um, uh, we have to give right to say some positive words according to the work with her 
PhD student, шановні члени спеціалізованої вченої ради, нам треба надати право виголосити науковому керівникові дисертанта свій висновок відповідно до дисертаційної роботи. Тому, пані Наталя Валерівна, прошу. Окей, дякую. Діа колег, як ви сказали, нау сайнтифіка ком'юніті, спеціально хат оф зе консул. Дякую за багато за всі роботи, які ви дійсно дійсно для мене і для моїх PhD студентів дефінс процес. І я хочу сказати кілька сентенс про моїх PhD студентів, про ЗТАО. ЗТАО був моїх PhD студентів пост роках, In, in, uh, in our uh, the definition, we say it's my second uh, scientific son. Uh, when uh, the Tao comes to PhD um, uh, department uh, and I want to ask her, what is the sphere of your research? What is the field of your research? What are you interested in? And uh, he answered me, uh, Hanyan province is my local territory. It's my soul. It's my local soul. And, and I want to uh, decide uh, and I want to develop uh, and management of social economic uh, Uh, development of Hinyan province. Uh, I tell, okay, and uh, during past uh, four years, uh, he studied, he studied very, very hard because too much, uh, a lot of theoretical material, but uh, not uh, a lot of um, um, statistic information. Uh, I want to say he is really very smart and uh, he worked hard uh, and uh, all time uh, succeeded and capacity to work, uh, to work autonomy. Uh, really thanks a lot for everybody because your um, so support uh, my PhD student and his different uh, dissertation. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Дякую, дякую, Наталія Валерівна. Якщо більше немає бажаючих виступити в обговоренні, будемо закінчувати і переходити до обговорення проекту рішення спеціалізованого вчення. Дозвольте мені його зачитати. Спеціалізована вчена рада Сумського національного аграрного університету Міністерства освіти і науки України прийняла рішення про присудження ступеня доктора філософії з галузі знань 07 управління та адміністрування на підставі прилюдного захисту дисертації управління соціально-економічним розвитком території провінції Хенань в англійському варіанті Management of Social Economic Development Territories in Henan Province за спеціальністю 073 Management. Хезе Тау, 1984 року народження, громадянин Китайської Народної Республіки, освіта вища, закінчив у 2013 році Хінанський науково-технологічний університет Місла Сяньтань, провінція Хінань, Китайська Народна Республіка, за спеціальністю інженер-геотехнік. У 2018 році вступив до аспірантури Сумського національного аграрного університету Міністерства освіти і науки України місто Суми, Україна за спеціальністю 073 менеджмент. Дисертацію було виконано в Сумському національному аграрному університеті Міністерства освіти і науки України місто Суми. Науковий керівник. Стоянець Наталя Валерівна, доктор економічних наук, професор, професор кафедри менеджменту імені Любої Івановни Михайлової Сумського національного аграрного університету. Здобувач має 14 наукових публікацій за темою дисертації, з них 5 статей у наукових фахових виданнях України, 3 статті в виданнях, що включені до науково-метричних баз даних Scopus та Web of Science і 6 інші публікації. Пропоную перейти до процедури відкритого голосування. Прошу всіх членів спеціалізованої вченої ради проголосувати і озвучувати рішення щодо присудження хед ЗТАО ступеня доктора філософії зі спеціальності 073 менеджмент. Дозвольте мені розпочати. Я голосую за. Я голосую за. Дякую. Я голосую за. Дякую. Пане Григорі. Голосую за. Дякую, пані Тетяно. Також голосую за. Дякую. За п'ять членів спеціалізованої вченої ради, проти немає, утримавшихся також немає. На підставі результатів відкритого голосування спеціалізована вчена рада присуджує хед ЗТА у ступінь доктора філософії з галузі знань 07 управління та адміністрування за спеціальністю 073 менеджмент. Чи є зауваження до роботи, до рішення спеціалізованої вченої ради? 
Немає. Дякую. Дякую, колеги. Тому дозвольте мені привітати Head the Tao з успішним е, захистом дисертації. Head the Tao, I would like to uh, say the words of congratulations because the, by, by the decision of special uh, scientific council you have been awarded the degree of doctor of philosophy in the specialty 073 management. So my congratulations to you. And now and now if you want you you have the possibility to say some words to us to your scientific tutor if you want yes uh, thanks now for providing me the opportunity to study in Sumer, um and uh, providing me with a safe shelter at the beginning of the war in 2022 uh, helped me safety evacuate from Sumi. Uh, the experience uh, is a valuable asset in my life. Um, thanks to all prof professors uh, of the council. Uh, without your efforts, I have to wait even longer time to graduate. At last, uh, I must express uh, my sincere gratitude to my supervisor, Professor Natania Stoney. Um, due to the war, I can't go to Sume to defense. She did a lot of work to help me, and uh, she gave me many suggestions on my research. I know, and she tried her best to push the work ahead. Um, thanks to all the people who helped me uh, during my study in Sume, such as uh, the worker uh, of uh, a worker of canteen or uh, worker uh, in the uh, dormitory. Uh, they also they, they uh, offer me a lot of help. Yes, yes. Uh, you, uh, because uh, during the war, uh, we don't have enough food, uh, water. Yes, the, the, the canteen worker and the dormitory worker provide uh, uh, us um, um, medicines. So uh, really, really thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, we, I want to wish you successfully implement today's degree in your future uh, scientific, professional and private life. Thank you very much. Шановні колеги, якщо немає зауважень пропозиції до роботи спеціалізованої вченої ради, дозвольте мені завершити сьогоднішнє засідання. Дякую всім вам дуже за роботу. Була рада з вами всіма попрацювати. Дякую. Дякую дуже. Дякую, шановні колеги. Дякую. Вітаємо, вітаємо наукового керівника і дисертанта. Дякуємо. 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 Представники аспіранта, можна виключати? Можна додому, так? Так, да, за мною прийшла мама. Можна додому? До побачення. Дякую всім, до побачення. До побачення, дякую. Всім гарного дня, до побачення. Дякую, дякую, вітаю, до побачення. Дякую. Благодарю за